Hey guys, Giovanni Reads here. So I know it's been a while. You may have seen my upload from the other day, and if you did, cool. If not, in the description I put a brief explanation about where I've been. Because I know that nobody reads the description, I'll rehash it here with some added detail. This channel started as a secondary channel, the Super Boss Giovanni. My main channel. I put main in air quotes here because it has about a quarter of the subs of this one. It all started when I got an idea from another Poketuber. His name at the time was The King Nappy. Some of you may know him because of some of the controversy that I won't get into here. He disappeared for a while and came back fairly recently as simply Nappy. I had tuned into one of his Twitch streams to find him just reading out loud. This gave me the idea to record a video of me reading a couple chapters from my favorite book. After uploading it, my computer went without internet for a week for reasons I don't really remember. I came back to my channel to find out that the video had absolutely blown up. It has over 39k views now, which at the time, which is still absolutely insane to me. After recording a few more chapters, I decided to move the reading to a new channel. This one. So my gaming channel wasn't bogged down by reading. This channel blew up like I never could have imagined. And for that, I first have to thank all of you for tuning in to me. Around the time of my first disappearance, I had started working full-time and going to school online full-time. I was finding it more and more difficult to actually find time to record. Combining these factors with the fact that I'd moved in with my girlfriend at the time, whose house had very thin walls and had a lot of people, getting a clean recording in without noise in the background literally everywhere to the point where I couldn't just edit out the egregious parts, it, getting a clean recording was nigh impossible. On top of all that, I was at a point where I wasn't really enjoying making content for this channel anymore. Nowadays though, I live alone and have created a schedule that I can probably get around to recording more uh, around. You guys can expect me to make at least one video a week. I'm going to stick to that as much as possible. I'm even going to set alarms to force myself to record. But <clears throat> that's a completely different story. Now on to the real reason I made this video. This is the holy crap I have a thousand subscribers video. And to, for that I have to thank all of you for your continued support. If you're still on this channel after I disappeared for so long, well I definitely have to thank you. So, to celebrate this, on Sunday, August 23rd, 2020, I will be live-streaming the reading of an entire book. What that book will be will be a poll on this video. I have prepared three choices, all of which I'm willing to read straight through without going chapter by chapter like I normally would. <clears throat> Your choices will be Great Illustrated Classics, The Adventures of Robinson Crusoe, Hatchet, or The Acorn People. I'm sure plenty of you don't know what those books are, so I'll give you the summary on the back of the book for each. Starting with The Adventures of Robinson Crusoe, it reads, A violent storm at sea destroys Robinson Crusoe's ship. He alone survives and is cast ashore on a deserted island. In this great adventure story of survival and courage, Crusoe must summon strength and intelligence to survive and flourish against impossible odds. Here is an amazing tale of a young man who overcomes loneliness, tames wild animals, battles ferocious cannibals, and dangerous mutineers in a 24-year struggle to survive. The description for Hatchet now. Sitting next to the pilot of a single-engine plane headed for the Canadian wilderness, where he will visit his, visit his father for the first time since his parents' divorce, 13-year-old Brian Robeson is haunted by thoughts of that divorce and his knowledge of the secret that caused it. <clears throat> When the plane crashes, Brian is the only survivor. Left with only the clothes on his back and a hatchet his mother gave him as a parting gift, Brian must face the devastating truth. I'm all I've got. I have to do something. He must learn to survive. Now the description for the acorn people. The camp was not a place for handicapped children, and the kids knew it. Camp Wigan was a summer camp for children who could shoot arrows, cook goulash, take hikes, and sing songs. It wasn't a place for ramps, sanitized medical facilities, swimming pool rails, or activity schedules. It was a place for children and their expectations and fantasies for life. 
The Acorn People, a very special group of disabled children, make their dreams come true at Camp Wigan. Swimming, staging a play, even hiking up Lookout Mountain. The Acorn People prove to the world that with encouragement and determination, nothing is impossible. Those are your choices for Sunday's live stream. It will begin at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the United States, and will last until the chosen book is finished. As far as the normal content of the channel, I plan to finish Holes next, and then I'll move on to a new book. That book will either be Walk Two Moons or The Invisible Man. One of the two. I haven't decided which yet. I'm going to wrap up this little channel update with a goal. I'm trying to revive my gaming channel as well. My goal is to have 1,000 subs on that channel by the end of this year. I have four and a half months. Let's get there. The link will be in the description. Go sub over there for some Pokemon goodness. With that, I'll end this video, and I will see you all later.